may resume my function as President of the Council. And I give the floor to the representative of Ukraine. Well, distinguished members of the Security Council, Secretary General, Under Secretary, before I try to deliver parts of the statement that I came here with tonight, most of it is already useless since uh, 10 p.m. New York time. I would like to cite Article 4 of the UN Charter. And it says, membership in the United Nations is open to all other peace-loving states which accept the obligations contained in the present charter and in the judgment of the organization are able and willing to carry out these obligations. Russia is not able to carry out any of the obligations. The ambassador of the Russian Federation three minutes ago confirmed that his president declared a war on my country. So before I read parts of my statement, I would like to avail of the presence of the Secretary General and request the Secretary General to distribute among the members of the Security Council and the members of the General Assembly, the legal memos by the Legal Council of the United Nations dated December 1991, and in particular, the legal memo dated 19th of December 1991. The one that we've been trying to get out of the Secretariat for a very long time and we were denied to get it. The Article 4, Paragraph 2 of the Charter reads, the admission of any such state to membership in the United Nations will be affected by a decision of the General Assembly upon the recommendation of the Security Council. Mr. Secretary General, please instruct the Secretariat to distribute among the members of the Security Council and the members to the General Assembly a decision by the Security Council dated December 1991 that recommends that the Russian Federation can be a member of this organization, as well as a decision by the General Assembly dated December 1991, where General Assembly welcomes the Russian Federation to this organization. It would be a miracle if the Secretariat is able to produce such decisions. There is nothing in the Charter of the United Nations about continuity as a sneaky way to get into the organization. So when I was coming here an hour ago or so, I was intending to ask the Russian ambassador to confirm on the record that the Russian troops will not start firing at Ukrainians today and go ahead with the offensive. It became useless 48 minutes ago. Because about 48 minutes ago, your president declared the war on Ukraine. So now I would like to ask the ambassador of the Russian Federation to say on the record that at this very moment, your troops do not shell and bomb Ukrainian cities. That your troops do not move in the territory of Ukraine. You have a smartphone, you can call Lavrov right now. We can make a pause, 
to let you go out and call him. If you are not in a position to give an affirmative answer, the Russian Federation ought to relinquish responsibilities of the President of the Security Council, pass these responsibilities on to a legitimate member of the Security Council, a member that is respectful of the Charter, and I ask the members of Security Council to convene an emergency meeting immediately and consider all necessary draft decisions to stop the war. Because it's too late, my dear colleagues, to speak about de-escalation. Too late. The Russian president declared the war on the record. Should I play the video of your president? Ambassador, shall I do that right now? Or you can confirm it. Do not interrupt me, please. Thank you. Then don't ask me questions when you are speaking. Proceed with your, proceed with your state. Anyway, you declare the war. It is the responsibility of this body to stop the war. So I call on every one of you to do everything possible to stop the war. Or should I play the video with your president declaring the war? Thank you very much. Kent, I must say that I thank the representative of Ukraine for his statement and the questions. I wasn't planning to answer them because I have already said all I know at this point. Waking up Ms. Minister Lavrov at this time is not something I plan to do. You said the information that we have will be something we provide. And this isn't called a war, this is called a special military operation in the Donbass. I 